Hey everybody, and uh, this is Mike Matheson. I'm the author of Immortality, A True Story. You can find that on Amazon, along with several other of my books of recent years. And this video is to tell you a little bit about a new upcoming book I have coming out. And before I tell you the title, I want to tell you how it emerged in my mind. First, there was the famous Einstein equation, E equals MC squared. And this is a famous way that we learned that energy and matter transform themselves and are proportional to the speed of light squared. In other words, there's a ton of energy in every little minuscule piece of matter that there is out there because the speed of light squared is 186,000 miles per second. You square that and you come up with billions of miles per second. So that's a huge number. And you take a tiny little amount of matter, multiply that by that number, and that's the kind of energy that you get. It's enough energy to blow yourself up to kingdom come. And we've come close a couple of times and we have blown up a couple cities in World War II, in Japan, killing hundreds of thousands of people in five seconds. And they were the smallest bombs that we've ever created. The bombs we used in Japan are now uh, firecrackers compared to what we have now in thousands and thousands of missile silos and thousands of silos in sub atomic submarines. The hydrogen bomb is uses these little things that we used in Japan as just detonators. And we've got millions of them out there. So luckily then, along came Star Wars and we learned about the Force. But it's not about a galaxy far, far away. And it's not about laser swords, starships, and rescuing a beautiful princess. It's all about this galaxy, this planet, and rescuing the future of everyone. And so I've called it the force equation, reinventing government. Sort of like defeating the empire. And the force equation is taken from Einstein's famous equation. That's how I figured it out. It's really very simple math. Any high school mathematics kid could have figured it out. And I did only because of my background and what I've been writing about in the last few years. I'm not a genius. It just came to me. That force equals time. That's the T. F is for force. Yep, the same force they're talking about in Star Wars. It does exist. It's been proven a couple of years ago, discovered. Einstein couldn't think of it. He was, he was trying very hard to find the one unified force, he called it. And he very much believed in God. So it turns out that the force, because of Einstein's equation, is really time... T for time, multiplied by C, C, again, stands for the speed of light, but instead of squaring it, we have to cube it. And that makes this force way bigger than any kind of energy we've ever known in our life. In fact, it's the creator of all energy in the universe. And I know it's cubed because we needed an order of magnitude greater than the matter to energy conversion, because force creates energy through this formula. So when they say, may the force be with us, it's here. And we now can learn how to use it, just like we learned how to use the energy for the atomic bomb, except we want to use it for peace. And like I said before, rescuing the future of all mankind not just a beautiful princess. So I talk about this for the first time in a very special online event. 
and you can sign up for it at Star Wars Awakens. Star Wars Awakens, because that's the force. Dot eventbrite.com. So don't forget this dot over here to get the get your tickets. Just go to Star Wars Awakens dot eventbrite.com. I'm holding it on four consecutive Sundays starting March 15th through April 14th at 4 to 6 p.m. Pacific. If you want to find out about the Force and how you can actually use it in your own life, I've been using it all my life and didn't realize it until I realized how powerful it is. And the book is about to come out. So anyone can read it. Anyone can start using it. Find out how at that website above. Thanks for watching.